morning. Uh, slept pretty good. Uh, woke up several times, you know, adjust and roll over and get back on my back, stuff like that. But um, I did sleep good. I slept hard when I did fall asleep, so uh, that's always nice. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, retie on some different baits. I'm going to um, tie on a craw crankbait versus that gizzard shad. Try something different. Also going to take off the spinner bait, which y'all know it's my go-to. And uh, try a mini max chatter bait. Um, I got some from H24 Outdoors. And I've been meaning to try them out. I just keep forgetting about them. And, you know, with the spinner bait just working so well, I just keep rolling with it. Uh, but we're gonna keep the Jade's jig still on. It's just a great bait. But uh, I'm gonna try the Mini Max today and a different style crankbait. So, oh yeah, we got a lot to do. Not much time to get it done in. It's about 6.30. Uh, as you can see, the sun has popped up and you hear the birds chirping. It's great to be in the outdoors. So we'll get everything packed up real quick and we're gonna make some coffee because I need some go juice this morning. There's a fish. Oh, this one. This one's fighting. Let's see snag too. Oh yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. Got a little small jaw on. Better than that last fish we had. Yeah. A little healthy chunk. Second fish on. Third bite. I missed a good one on the chatter bay. I left a I guess I didn't let him suck in the bait far enough, but just a little uh, 11, 12. Came on the crankbait. I've had two on the crankbait, one on the chatterbait. Which there's not a lot of wind today. I've been throwing the chatterbait around the shoals where it's a little more choppy. Uh, crankbait in smoother, slower water.
There's fish. <laughs> Think he's ready. Wind just started picking up. It's blowing about 15 at my face. Just dropped my anchor wizard. I don't know if I'll hold, but because I'm kind of in the current too, I need a heavier weight. Just caught that guy on the crankbait, crawfish. I wanted a little wind for that chatterbait, but not this much. We'll see how this goes. There's fish. There's a fish. Stay on. Stay on. Hey, good morning. Just lost one. Probably maybe 14, 15, somewhere in there. The kayaker just went by and I said, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Jumped off. There's a fish. There's a fish. I knew there'd be one in that tree over there. Flip them in here. Another little guy. Little smally. This wind is ridiculous. But that coffee is spot on. It's finally cooled down enough where I could drink it. Jeez. I just missed a nice one right here. I had too much going on. My, uh, kayak was spinning my anchor was dropping and I was running that spinner bait through this uh, big bluff side right here and got popped hard obviously I missed it there's fish there's fish stay on I think it's a small one I think it's a small and he's putting up a good fight though Not bad. Got uh, another small gel on the uh, spinner bait. Small, small gel, that's for sure. He was uh, around that big rock up there where the current was flowing around it. That's called the Sholey Lean right there. There's a fish. Stay on, baby. Stay on. Got him in the current. I don't think he's big, but. Small mouth, another list. Just a little guy. Oh, he just stopped me. Stopped me in my tracks, little guy. <laughs> the way he stopped me, I thought it was a big one. Well, that's crazy. This little guy had some power behind him. A little dink. Got me ox dad. There's fish. Little guy. Little smally.
it has been uh, blowing me back upstream. So it's been nuts. <clears throat> That's all right. It's been a great trip either way. Just wish the wind would have turned down maybe to 10 instead of a 40. I'm not sure what the gusts are, but they're pretty bad. But <laughs> I mean, literally my uh, paddle blew out of my boat. I was holding my lap like that, I was trying to fish and it went like this, <laughs> just blew out. I had to jump out and try to retrieve it before it went downstream without me. I was kind of in some current, so I had to jump out and get it. Luckily it was shallow, so uh, no harm there, but it's pretty comical, needless to say. Well, I see the takeout point. Thank goodness. Oh, my arms feel like noodles. I mean, they're just, they're there, but they're not, you know? But uh, I'm just happy to get to my truck and drive without using my arms. That'd be great. Not one, but two. Apparently there was something on this side of the road. I didn't even see it. And it punctured both of these tires on the right side. Just terrible luck. I am exhausted. We got home, it's after dark. That's hence the uh, outro in the garage. Finally got all my stuff laid out, my tent's drying out. Man, <laughs> what a disaster today. That's all I can say. Um, so we started out great in the morning. I wish I had got up like an hour earlier and went ahead and just hit the water running and started fishing before that wind picked up. It was blowing at least 30 to 40 miles per hour. I mean, huge gust right before the storm was cutting through the state, bad storm, and it was just crazy. Uh, and then every river bend, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna turn this river bend, it's gonna get smooth, you know? No, it was hitting me from that direction. As soon as I turned the bend, it was hitting me the other direction. So it, it didn't matter, it was just bad. So I still caught quite a bit of fish, but a lot of them were like eight to uh, you know, 11 inches, and I just didn't show you all those. I lost two nice ones. I lost that one when I waved at that kayaker going by. It was probably 14, 15. And then I lost probably a 17 at least. Um, it was a nice one, and it just I didn't hook it good. I was using a jig on the bottom there, and you know the wind was just howling. I had a big bowline in my line. And, uh, you know, I was like, I think that's a fish delayed for a moment. And then, yeah, it wasn't a good hook set. But anyways, we uh, got to see it, but that was about it. We didn't get to touch it. But, uh, you know, the Lord, uh, he definitely put that gentleman in my uh, pathway today. The Lord knew I needed some encouragement, a little pick-me-up. And this guy is awesome. Like CNC Mobile, I'll put his information in the video right now but if you ever need welding done or if you're stuck on the side of a random highway out in the middle on this country road and you're just totally lost and don't know who to call this is your man if you're up in the area near the national buffalo river um, he will hook you up very friendly guy as you can see uh, he had a helper with him that day but uh, man very friendly awesome has some great stories you know just telling me all these stories about, you know, growing up down in Louisiana. He was a Cajun, and uh, he just recently got saved, you know, just changed his life around. And so it's a blessing to hear his story and talk to him about all that stuff. And I think we're going to have a friendship down the road, too, because, uh, you know, he invited me to go on some hunts up there. I'm like, oh, yeah, that'd be awesome, bro. But uh, I'm the type of guy I don't mooch, so... If I'm going to, uh, you know, go hunt on his property, I'm definitely going to trade him off with some work. That's just how I roll. But anyways, uh, so I think the Lord lined that up for me because, you know, after fighting the wind all day, my arms are just about to fall off. 
missed some nice fish they shook off then uh, i had some other trouble on the water my paddle literally blew out of my hand i had to jump out of the boat and grab it it was just one thing after the other there were so many times i cast it into a bush because the wind just <sighs> carried my line a little bit further than i you know you planned on casting it just constant you know backlashes stuff like that i was like I just need this day to be over, you know? And then I get in my truck. I go up this uh, very bad, rugged road in the rental truck. And all of a sudden, all the dash lights are going off. It's like, ding, 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 ding. I was like, what's going on? I like, then I break the rental, you know? And all of a sudden, I see the tire pressure on the right side go from, you know, 33 to 7. So I was like, and I just felt it. I was like, oh, it pulled and uh turned out i uh hit a super sharp rock on that side there was no metal nothing that's what i seen like some rusty metal that blended in the dirt road and i just didn't see it no it was just straight up sharp rock and those tires are not strong enough for those roads up there and just you know after a long day fighting the wind the last thing i wanted was a flat Especially not two flats. Yes, two flats on the same side. I only had one spare out in the middle of nowhere. Didn't know what to do. I had one bar of service. I just started Googling like, okay, 24-7 services. And that's what brought me to CNC there. And uh, he was able to come, take my tires off, uh, you know, take me into town, which is about 15, 20 minutes away, and able to uh, get my tires patched up and got them back on my truck as you saw in the video and then i was finally on my way home but other than that we're going to sum up this video thanks for sticking with me this long uh i know it's probably a little more boring just because i was just constantly fighting i was just like you can tell my mood i was like oh i'm just so tired of casting and paddling and holding myself true in the current i was just exhausted really you can tell by my demeanor and just my actions and my voice and just the wind just beat me to death today that's okay we made it home safely we had a great time thanks for watching and i hope to see you on the next adventure and definitely check out cnc mobile for welding needs tire repair whatever you need small jobs up in that marshall area uh, he'll definitely take care of your needs so we'll catch you on the next adventure